In February of 2018, I bought some Neolithic arrowheads that came from Sub-Saharan Morocco. Since the bow and arrow had a very long history in Europe, these arrowheads are probably several thousand years old. They're made of various flints and agates, and many of the designs are actually used here in the U.S. as well. What I found most striking was just how small these points are. Many of them are tiny and can fit on the tip of your finger with room to spare, just like many of the true prehistoric arrow points found in North America. In this video, I'll show you how to replicate a sub-Saharan arrow point. So I've got a little flake here and that's what we're going to use to replicate one of those Moroccan sub-Saharan arrowheads. As with all these points, you start by shearing the edge, working into a little bit thicker, stronger, more robust areas of the flake. Straighten up the profile a bit. And straighten up the base. It's off at a weird angle. flake has a slight curvature to it, so I want to try to flake off the offending areas to flatten it out as much as possible. Once the base is straightened, careful flake removals are made along the edges with deer antler to clean up the profile and streamline the shape. Each flake removal thins and sharpens the edge, so it's important to prepare and strengthen the edge for each flake removal to avoid crushing the edge and ruining the shape. Working small flakes like this one requires precise pressure and good support. There's the arrowhead blank, and boy, it didn't take me very long to chip that out. Just a few minutes. And I just want to put that notch in the base, and this little guy will be done. For notching the base, I use a split piece of deer leg bone. The tool should only contact the very bottom of the basal edge when you build up pressure to remove the flake. To keep from breaking off the little ears, always widen the notch with your tool so it doesn't contact either edge. Once the danger of notching the base is behind you, use a sharp antler flaker to clean up the shape and put the final touches on the point. There's the finished point. Didn't take me very long to make this guy either. Just a few minutes on a thin flake of flint and got a, a suitable arrowhead for hunting. 
And this is still a really small point, but it's actually somewhat large compared to the ones that we saw before. Got that cool little notch in the base. Just a really cool looking arrow point style. It's really cool to look at the original stuff and then, and then duplicate it. It's just a really fun thing to do. Here's my finished replica amongst the original artifacts that were the inspiration for this video.